Morning world, welcome to Thursday 13th of July and the day I'm going to reveal to you what's in this tube. Okay, so some of you have been asking what this is. This is the surprise present I picked up from Funky Farmer um, nearly a week ago, actually, and it's brought many a smile to more than a few people. So it is time to reveal what's in the tube. Now, on the back it says, to Farmer P from Michael, I won't give um, anything else, uh, from County Durham. So, Michael, thank you for this. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, me. So, obviously, um, the Cornox opened this before I did, because I think there were some um, other posters in there as well for them. Um, Mrs. Cornock, I think, thought this was classic and um, very suitable. So, uh, yeah, Michael, thank you very much indeed. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. There's, there's a few options, um, but it probably will find its way on display somewhere or other. Maybe it'll scare off a few ramblers or something. But, yeah, it's um, many a smile that has brought to friends and family. Thank you very much. You come in then? Come on. Right, it's actually gone past midday. It's actually 10 to 1 in the afternoon. Um, I've got a couple of jobs to do today for the tree company. Got two jobs to go and look at, so nice to have the phone ring in a bit. Uh, but also this afternoon, something that was supposed to happen yesterday afternoon. Supposed to. I suppose there's always a chance that it might be tomorrow afternoon, might get bumped again. Um, today's the day Reg's new combine turns up. It was going to be yesterday, but there was something to do with an electrical fault on an ECU. They had to change over a, they had to change over a brain or something, um, which delayed delivery a couple of days. Like Reg said, it's not, not end of the world. He's got barley that is fit to combine. Well, the barley might be fit but the weather's not. Here they come. We are actually getting some grass. The rain that we've just had is, is doing some good. But like I said yesterday or the day before, the grass needs a bit of time to catch up and it's gonna take it a week, 10 days at least. So for a week, 10 days, we're feeding this winter's um, bales. Not ideal, but they need to be fed. You coming? Yeah? Go on then. Up you go. Go on. Get up. Go on. Get up. Get up. Oh, 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 hang on a minute. That's right. Ewan's been in here and he's ordered everything. Did you bash your nose? Eh? Did you bash your nose? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where it went. It wasn't until I edited the last video of me putting Bale in there that I knew there was actually a piece of green net left on top of the bale. 
that's not in the feeder and they wouldn't eat it they, they'd spit it out so I'm kind of assuming it's in there somewhere much better to find it All right, I'm going outwards today just for a change. Okay, so coming to you. Back it up. Go up. Back it up. Back it up. Come on, get out of there. No, you have to go backwards. 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 Go on, backwards. There you go. All right, darling. Okay, there you go. Breakfast is served. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. You all right? Hey. You all right? What's that then? Hey, what's that then? Hello, darling. Hey, what is that? Not quite so tame now, are you? All right, sweetheart. Oh, you do like a bit of that, didn't you, mate? Hey, you do like a bit of that. Yes, you do. Yeah. Go on, back it up. Right. Right, you have to move. You can't stay there. Go on. Come on. There you go. Go on. Any a little precious. Oh yeah, a little bit of an update on that thing. Um, I got some shear bolts coming. So it's one of those jobs kept forgetting to order the bolts and you can't just put any old bolt in there. But we haven't had that much in on the green waste. I mean, the pile in the grand scheme of things isn't that big. So not been that much of a rush. But anyway, they're on their way. Um, we're also looking at maybe replacing that machine, probably with a smaller one. Uh, I'm having a bit of a think round machinery, amount of use it gets, space it takes up. That thing takes up a lot of space. So we're thinking of maybe getting a, something a little bit smaller. Not a lot, but a little bit. Come on, you. Come on. Oh, look, there's a bloke picking wallflowers. Right, you lucky folks. Unfortunately, um, I forgot to turn the mic on on the camera when I was recording this bit, so I've got to narrate it. Not only have I got to narrate it, I've got to narrate it with a stinking cold. So if I sound awful, it's because I am. The idea was that while I was waiting for Reg to give me a call to let me know the combine was coming, I thought, do you know what? I'll shoot down the farm and I'll pull some ragwort. So, ragwort's a pretty plant, but I really, really do not want it on the farm. It's a nasty, toxic plant, and each one of those can produce maybe 30,000 seeds. So, yeah, we just don't want it. So before I started pulling the ragwort, I took a little wander out over there and uh, unfortunately I found something else that I did not want on the farm as well. Something that's not natural, something that doesn't grow by itself, something that doesn't involve a seed or anything like that. This is all completely man-made. Look at that. So someone's decided to launch all their rubbish over our fence. Um, yeah, somebody's been doing a bit of roofing, a bit of fiberglassing, a bit of painting and all their waste rather than take it to tip where it's supposed to go they just left it with me thanks chaps now we've got a fairly good idea who's been doing it and they're from over that way not an awful long way away so we can't prove it that's the problem so we have our suspicions but all we got to do is try and catch them in the act problem is you've got to be there when it happens or I've got to put more CCTV in, which 
To be honest, why should I have to do that? You know, why can't folks just take it to the tip? Not only is this a blotch on our beautiful landscape, pretty sure Reg would not want to find this in his new combine either. Can't imagine it doing a lot of good. Anyway, it's all picked up. It's all back in the buckets. I'll put this to uh, one side and I'll come back and pick it up later on. Don't think I'm going to have room to Right, that's most of it pulled now, put to one side. This is the one down to doing this, and it's this little fella here. This is the caterpillar of the cinnabar moth. Little charcoal grey and red moth. Lovely little thing. Uh, the caterpillars uh, eat the ragwort and take on the toxins. Makes them toxic to birds, hence the reason they're black and yellow. It's basically a warning, don't eat me because I'm bitter and I will make you ill. So, yeah. Sorry about that, mate. Okay, so, for those of you that know this stuff, um, some of it was quite big, I've had to break it in half to get it in the boot of my van. So, it's releasing a bit of juice. So you know what it smells like in there. Yeah.